Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tech World and Megabyte TV. Today I have another software overview of Object Doc and Object Doc Plus because I recently purchased Object Doc Plus. I'll show you what it is. I've talked about it in my past, uh, way past videos. I used Object Doc to organize and you know use. Uh, uh, if you're similar, you know, similar to OS X's Doc, you know, it's not, you know, it's nothing like. Uh, it has its own features and you know it's it doesn't have um, stuff like stacks and stuff like that unless you're using Rocket Doc, but. I'm sure you get add-ons for Object Doc, but Object Doc is the Windows version of OS X's Doc, and it's one of the Windows' most popular Doc programs aside from Rocket Doc. I used to find myself using Rocket Doc a lot just because it had the stacks feature and it had a lot of other stuff. Um, but Rocket Doc um, is a free version, like I said, and uh, Object Doc is also free unless you want to go for Object Doc Plus, which is about twenty dollars, which is relatively cheap for software. It does have its own type of stack type thing. It comes with cool weather widgets. And has some other stuff um, that you can add. So uh, you can download it here, objectdoc.com or stardoc.com slash products slash objectdoc. Um, and it's on version 1.9 and has support for Vista and XP. It's really smooth, it's lightweight, you know, it doesn't take up too much RAM or, you know, really no CPU at all. Now let's look at some features. Over right here it says, first off, the world's most popular Windows Doc program with over 3.5 million downloads. Um, and plus is the add-on version, you know, that's not free, you have to pay for it. But the free version has no ads, and it works great. So, about the features, it's easy to use, shortcut organizer, simple drag-and-drop operations, and it goes on and on. And, you know, just shows you what's new and stuff like that. Um, so if you see some screenshots, here's some screenshots of Object Doc. And you get a lot of themes, because it's run by the Win Customized community. Now, um, I'm going to show you the actual program now, or actually my actual desktop, so I'm just going to scroll down here, pull this down to my desktop, and that's my dock right there. So this is my dock, and as you see here, it has that zoom thing. Now my icons, I've customized them all, they're all folder icons for each application, and this is what a stack would look like in Object Dock Plus. So if I was to click it, and just wait a second, and it loads out my applications, and I can just go right arrow, left arrow, and I'll cycle through, and I can just click I need to, and I'll open it. Um, now it has stuff like start menu because as you see here I'm hiding my taskbar and I can open the start menu, my weather widget. Um, and let's go into the configure options now. So for the configure options, I'm going to have to pull this down here, sorry. Um, you have load object doc at startup and I hide my taskbar. You can go to the miscellaneous options. Um, now it has just some, uh, you know, random features, you know, prevent doc to always be on top and you can use Windows D. Windows key D, you know, when you hide uh, everything under, you want to show the desktop. Has some other stuff like use thumbnails to represent images placed in dock. You can change your fonts, and I use Calibri, and you can make it uh, bold or italics, and you can just have some other options. Okay, so on to performance options. Now, this is uh, really cool because you can uh, set it to how you want it to be, you know, whether you want it really nice, good quality if your computer can handle it. Um, so, you know, extra gradual, so everything will look nice and smooth and, you know, the icons will just look really nice and crisp, you know. Or you can use the recommend settings, or if you want to go very fast, the quality of the icons won't be really good, but, you know, it'll be, it doesn't show up when you zoom in, it'll be kind of blurry. But, you know, uh, overall your performance will be nice and fast, and I like to use the normal quality. Um, now you can memory and speed optimization, this is also cool. You can optimize it for performance, so the dock works, you know, at the tip-top shape. But, uh, so you say, I paid for this RAM, please use it. Or you can optimize it for memory. I have 256 megabytes of RAM or less, I need every bit. And I just put it on there, I have two gig, uh, 1.5 gigs of RAM, but I just like to save, you know, uh, whatever memory I have. Uh, now you can manage your docs, because in this one, Object Doc Plus, it gives you the options to have as many docs as you want. You can set multiple docs, that's what's something that's really cool, it sets it aside from stuff like Rocket Doc and stuff like that. So, you can also create tab docs now. Uh, one cool feature, I have my dock off here to the right. This is actually my system train since I don't have a actual, you know, little system tray because I'm hiding the taskbar. Um, that's my system tray right there, and it's all in a dock, so it shows everything that's running right there. And you can mess around with appearance. Uh, sorry if that's taking... Which has icon size and has different backgrounds. You can download backgrounds. Positioning where you want it on your monitor, keep it on top of Windows, stuff like that. Effects, you can zoom effect, you know, when you hover over the icons. Uh, quality and smoothness again, you can mess around with that. Uh, and dock contents. Now, um, display windows along with my icons. All windows, minimize windows only, non-minimize, stuff like that. Uh, display system tray in my icons, and this depends on all what dock you're messing with. System tray placement, so which where do you want the system tray or minimized windows to show up. So like right here on the bottom, these three windows right here are all the windows I have minimized uh, into my dock. 
and you can mess around some other taskbar options. Now getting on to making other docs. When I say create a tab doc, a tab doc is really cool. So I'm going to show you what a tab doc is. And is it load? A tab doc is just like how tabs would work. It's all basically a doc with tabs. It's really, really cool for workflow. So I can say rename this to general, and you know, uh, spell general without the A there. Um, I can name this one uh, office and you know one games and that's basically where I can have one doc that manages everything and I can just delete the other two or I can add more tabs whatever you want to do and then this way I can just have all my applications sorted out you know all my general stuff in here click office and it would go out to my office programs maybe like the word Microsoft Word suite or the Microsoft Office suite and I can go here and have all my games and that way I don't have a huge doc I just have one small doc that's organized and you know it's less clutter. It's really cool because um, Object Plus really gives you cool options, and you can mess around with its size and appearance, its positioning. You can show it as a drawer, so basically it would, like it'll you know push up when you're not in use. So it'll just hide up there. You know I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, let me drag up here. So you can see you know it acts as a drawer, kind of just pulls out when you need it, and you know, it just clings to the top of your. Uh, desktop and it's really really cool so object doc plus worth it it's on uh, it's only twenty dollars if you really are you know want to clean up your desktop want to have some fun you know to use features and if you love the object doc object doc uh... free version you may want to invest in object doc plus a really cool application has a lot of cool features you know i, I just you know went over the overview of it but um, a lot of cool stuff to organize and you know organize your desktop or icons make stacks make drawers make tab docs you know you can have like five docs with different stuff in it however you want to do it it's all up to you so this has been object doc plus software overview and again if you want to look at my doc down here this is what it looks like just has some of my stacks and stuff like that and then to my right i have my system tray uh, doc and since i'm not using an actual windows taskbar anyways guys so thank you for watching this video i hope you guys uh... Liked it and rated it five stars if you liked it. Don't forget to comment as well. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that yellow button and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com. And email me any questions or concerns at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.